big cars, they sometimes come really fast around the corner and sometimes they, they go onto the path. So some people might be walking, they have to go onto a different side of the path just for them to get through when they probably know that's a bit small and narrow. But we're really coming down Newton Street and then coming into Matlin Street. The immediate area by the school is, is, is actively dangerous. We've had a lot of incidents with children getting nearly hit by cars. Uh, in the morning run in particular, a lot of uh, large trucks and vans making deliveries. We've got the, uh, the, the, the rubbish disposal vans and the recycling vans coming down. Um, the pavements are very narrow. You've got parents with multiple children. You've got parents with prams. Um, a couple of years ago, a little girl was actually hit by a car and that was really an accident waiting to happen. We originally looked at full pedestrianisation, but that was felt not to be possible because of the number of businesses and places where people live along the street that need servicing. And I spoke to a transport planner called Jürgen de Haas, who mentioned in passing this idea of closing streets at the start and end of the school day. The benefit of the road closing means that parents, children, pedestrians can walk down the road safely and that they can enjoy their walk to school and it will avoid a fatal accident. Getting the bollard system in to close the road for those periods is going to be the only solution that makes the children absolutely safe coming into school. The people can take another road and go take another road to, to get to their destination while well, we kind of have to go there. The, the local businesses and the local community around the school have also been very, very helpful in understanding the danger uh, and in agreeing the time closures. So, so I think it'll work for everyone. I think at pick up and drop off time um, people are generally a lot happier and feel a lot safer um, because they know that they're not needing to look out for traffic on the road outside. So now um, people find it a lot more safe, a lot quieter, a lot a more calmer environment, um, exactly the kind of environment that you'd want around school. I mean it's always been fun walking with my kids to school anyway but since the road has been closed I think things have calmed down a lot more, you know pollution-wise as well, so yeah, things have calmed down a lot. At St Joseph's we'd really like to see the road closure continue because it, it's much safer for everybody. I think this kind of project is really beneficial to schools, particularly in central London where there is lots of traffic and that can be quite, it can be quite dangerous, particularly at those times of day, and it's really benefited our school, so I would recommend it to others. To be honest, if I have my own way, I love to see that road close permanently, you know. We've had a really positive response from people who live in the area and people who come to the school. And we'd like to see this rolled out much more widely so other um, schools in our borough can benefit and also um, across the city too. You can see real benefits in terms of uh, people walking to school, a safer, calmer environment and also um, hopefully journeys that are made in a more sustainable way that don't contribute to air pollution. Um, I think they should keep the road closed because it's just better for everyone and it makes you feel like happy when you can come to school knowing that you're safe. 